In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. Your old men will dream dreams, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, this is that. This is that. This was spoken of by the prophet. Welcome. I'm glad you guys came. We're here doing this for God. Keenan Dijon with EBIS is 82 Marketing and Brother Freddie Okoye. Thank you. Welcome to the layout. Today's message, we're actually going to be talking to you about how to identify your purpose and how to activate God's anointing in your life. So let's start this show with a very simple question, shall we? What is purpose? Brother Freddie O, what would you say that purpose is? Well, uh, some dictionary meaning of purpose, some said it's a... Uh, it's an effect or um, uh, a, um, a result that is desired or intended. Okay. You know, intention, that it means you you already have a plan. Or you, there's an expected, expected, expected end or expected result um, that is desired. That's what is purpose. That's what is purpose. purpose. No, that's, that's what is purpose. I actually heard um, uh, not too long ago, I, I heard a very... Uh, powerful pastor, Pastor Johnson from out in California. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he said, and it was real simple, that purpose is when you know and understand what you were born to accomplish, that is your purpose. That is your purpose. Personally, I, can, I can't find a way to separate purpose and vision. When I think of purpose, I think of vision. When I think of vision, I think of purpose because your purpose, your vision comes from your purpose. Well, uh, first of all, um, to talk about purpose, God is purpose. Everything that God did, God is a God of purpose. Indeed. Um, we we um, saw at the beginning, when you opened Genesis, we saw God. Hmm. And everything that God did is purpose. It's all about purpose. Wow. When, when God spoke things into existence, he had a vision. And from his purpose in speaking it, was that vision being created. Yes. You know. Yeah, um, it, like you were saying at the beginning, the Bible said that God created heaven and earth. And the earth without form was void. and void. And the Spirit of God moved upon the waters and God said, let there be light. Hmm. Before God said, let there be light, already he knows what the light is going to be like. Mm -hmm. That's where vision comes in. Right. Vision is the ability to see the purpose, to understand your yeah. purpose. That's what vision is. I like that. So when God said, let there be light, the Bible said he said there was light and it was good. So for it to say it was good, it meets the standards of mm -hmm. what he already saw in his spirit. Wow. So that's that that's, desired that's, intention. Yes, I love back from Proverbs 29, 18, um, he says that my people perish without knowledge. Uh, Hosea 4, 6 said my people perish without knowledge. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs said my people perish without vision. Right. You see, knowledge and vision, because, you know, some, like my pastor call it, some, call it um, Revelation knowledge yeah. is still the same thing. Being able to to know what is why you're here, and you cannot walk victoriously in your Christian life without you understanding who you are in God. Yes. Why are you here, God? You know, I mean, we can we can talk about this purpose. It's so broad, but but the main thing about purpose is understanding who you are. Right. What am I here? Who am I? Why am I created? And being able to know who you are, then embracing it, lining yourself up to begin to. And any man who understands, discovers their purpose, and line up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop. Wow. Nothing can stop. You. Everything was created with a purpose. I always tell people like, uh, when I talk about purpose or talk to people about purpose, just like going into a store to okay. get you a TV or get you something. You know, that TVs that you put in the bathroom, in the shower room, that TVs yeah. you put, you know, 
everything that TV need or that production, that machine already is, is already built in right. to be able to to operate or perform where it's supposed to. Yeah. The same thing with purpose. Like I said, the, the author of purpose is God. That is the and creator the of all things. Indeed. The author of purpose. So when God creates you, he already has a mind and purpose. See, with desires, like you said, you can get into a desire. Oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to do this. And it might not be fulfilling. But when you line up, discover who you are in God. And the only way you can find your purpose is first of all knowing God. Yeah. It's just like an invention or a product. When you go to TV or go to a store, you buy you a TV and, and for you to, they give you a manual. You know, they give you a manual and they, they, the manual tells you how to operate your TV. If you don't understand the manual, you call it what? You call it? Call the, the operator. The, the manufacturer. The, the, right. the same thing with us. We are the Bible said in Ephesians 2.10 uh, 2, that we are God's workmanship. We're God's craft. God's uh, uh, um, masterpiece. Yes. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works that he preordained or predetermined, pre destined that we would do before time. So before we became who we are, God already know what we're supposed to be doing. Because yeah. he puts up all those things in us. Indeed. And you bring up a good point. So when um, you say God, see God created everything with a purpose. You know, like you say. And in uh, Jeremiah first chapter, it actually said before, you know, before I, you were in your mother's room, I yes, knew you, I formed you. Right? See, the mere fact that we exist is one, okay, God completed us before he created us, right? And we were created, designed, and equipped with everything to accomplish what we were born for. That is purpose. That is indeed purpose. Identifying your purpose, see, I, I actually... All throughout this season, this year, I have been trying to find my purpose. What is it? And I call it inner swagger. That inner swagger, when you finding that crossroad between what you enjoy to do, your passion, your purpose, and how you can make a living. You know, and if it's God that's doing this thing, then it's not just making a living, but it lasts for generations. Your brain, right, yeah. even in this age, in this era, things change. You know, things have evolved, but I truly believe that as I walk in my purpose, as I seek God for my purpose, find my success in God, then what I'm doing will generate generational wealth. Not, and, 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 and it's not I'm finding my purpose fueled by fear, but I'm seeking God and finding my purpose and in doing so, <laughs> I'm fueled by love and wanting to be successful in God brings him the glory because everybody who understands my purpose, when they see me walking in my purpose, it draws them to Christ. You know, that is God's purpose because when you talk about purpose, it's not about my purpose. It's about God's purpose, not my will, but God's will be done. 